Welcome along to Tech Tuesday, but it's Sunday, never mind that. In this episode, we're going to be talking a bit about bike security, garage security. I'm planning a couple of videos on this subject, and this is the first one in this little series. So sit back, get a cup of tea, put the kettle on. We'll put the kettle on, then get a cup of tea, but let's roll that intro. So I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't been affected by bike thefts directly. My brother-in-law, Greg, with the uh, 300 TPI, him and Alex had both his 701 stolen out of their garage end of last year. And it's a real problem in the UK at the moment with bikes being stolen out on the streets and being taken from people's garages from their homes. So what can you do to try and protect yourself from this? Well, let's face it, if the, if the thieves really want your bike, you're gonna be very hard pushed to actually stop them. All you can really protect yourself against is the opportunist thief who wants to be in and out, making a minimal amount of noise and take your bike from underneath your nose almost. So what can you do to protect yourself from that type of thief? So I was contacted by a company called Image for Security. They're a new company, a new startup, and they're trying to help combat this type of opportunist thief. And what they have designed and manufactured is a physical barrier that goes across your garage door to physically stop someone breaking, opening the garage doors and just breaking your steering lock out of your bike and wheeling it away. They offer an installation service or they offer this package as a DIY install. Me being me, I foolishly opted for the DIY install. <laughs> And this is how we got on. So there is the guardsman in all its finery. So basically two physical barriers to protect your garage door. The hinged side and the locking side. This will all make sense once it's installed. All the other bits and bobs you get with the kit also comes with a ground, well optionally, a ground anchor attachment. So you can run a big chain and lock your bike down. I've actually gone for two of these ground anchors because of the amount of bikes I have in my garage. I can have two bikes chained down. So the actual packaging the guardsman comes from is on this wooden sort of crate material. And they've actually included a template. So not only is it the packaging to ship it on, it's also got the template to actually mount to your garage. So you basically join these two together, you screw them together, get the width set. Because of course the important thing with this is when the bar comes down, it hits and it meets the locking mechanism. If it's a bit pissed, <laughs> it's not gonna work. So you gotta make sure this is square, level. I, I, I'm more of a cut twice, measure once type of guy, but you've really gotta be a measure twice, cut once type of guy for this. But I thought I'd give this a go. Let's see how easy this is to install. That won't help. <sighs> that in happening. Not with these floors. 70s house. The floors are like concrete. <laughs> Incredibly hard. This, this drill just can't hack it. So, to bring on Beaver Tool Hire, the Makita. Time to teach those floors a lesson. That's more like it. Maybe time to call the professionals. That's two of the bolts in. I honestly don't think I'm gonna get the back two in. It's just too hard, it's unbelievable. It also secures up here as well. So you get it level and there's another hole to drill here. So I think with two 100 mil bolts at the bottom and the one at the top as well, I don't think anyone is getting this out. So I honestly, I think I'm gonna abandon the back two. It's impossible. No 
Okay, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. I'm hoping the hard work is done. <laughs> These are the resin capsules. Basically what you do is you put a resin capsule in the hole, push the bolt down onto it, smash the glass, and then wind the bolt into the hole, obviously, and then that mixes this resin into the thread of the bolts. And this is actually stronger than the surrounding concrete, so shall I give it a try? Drop him in, and you have to whack that with a hammer to break it, and then push it in, and then let's have a go. Where's my hammer? Shearing nuts, what happens with these? You tighten them down, they break off, it ain't coming off again. Good enough. So there we go, install done, it took me longer much longer than it should have done it probably took me about four hours but that was including going back to beaver tool hire hiring a more meaty drill my it would have been much simpler if i didn't have such hard floors this house whenever you try and put pictures up in this house it's so hard i knew i'd have trouble i don't know why i didn't get them to install it for under quid but i didn't but normally you you shouldn't find that your house is as hard as mine a normal house should be able to drill into the, the, the concrete floors, no problem. This is a 70s house. They don't make them like this anymore. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the whole point of the guardsman is to prevent a physical barrier to the opportunist thief. If someone's turning up at your house with an angle grinder, you're not going to stop them, no matter what you get. If they're brazen enough to be willing to make the noise of electrical equipment in your garage, then you're not going to stop them taking stuff. You really are protecting yourself from that opportunist who's broken into your garage door, then they see you've got the guardsman in place and they're not gonna get that out. If you've got a heavy bike like the H2, 230 kilos, even if they could squeeze it over the top of the bar, it's gonna be noisy. It's gonna be hard to move that bike with probably four people you'll need to lift that high enough to get it over the barrier. You're gonna not be able to do that without making too much noise. And if you've got it secured with the ground anchor as well, there's no way they're getting it out without an angle grinder and making bloody noise and I'll be down from upstairs with my baseball bat before you know it. Don't try it. Yeah. The guardsman's also got some other features built in. All of the pivoting points are protected. They're in box, so you can't get a crowbar in there. You can't try and get a drill in there. It's all enclosed. Even the main locking mechanism is a barrel type lock and it's got a plate over the top. So you can't come in above with a drill to try and drill the lock out. The average bike width is about 770 millimeters. The average handlebar width, if a bike is turned to full lock, is 990 millimetres. The guardsman stands off the floor 660 millimetres. So you will not get the average size bike underneath the guardsman. To put it into perspective, I would not get the H2 underneath of the guardsman. It is too wide, even, at its, even with the handlebars turned to the side, it will not fit underneath. Yes, they could probably get it over, because I've not got the up and over gauge door, I've got the workshop doors, but it would take a few people to lift that bike over the top of the guardsman. Even if you don't want to go the full hog with the guardsman, Image for Security actually sell ground anchors, chains, locks, all, all really high quality stuff, the best available. So that can also be bought via their website. So I'll put links below as usual and the discount code if you do want to go ahead and purchase one of these. I've had it in now for about a week and a half. I do sleep better at night knowing that's in place. You've got to do something to protect yourself from the scumbags of this world who want to take your property. You've earned that property, you've paid for it. Why should they come and take it away? If you phone the police if something, if your bike gets stolen, it's very rarely the police will even come out to your house to try and gather evidence, to try and bring these criminals to justice. It just doesn't happen. It's almost like a free for all. So you have to take some sort of measures and try and protect yourself as best you can. Thanks for watching. Keep your motorcycles safe. You've earned them, you've paid for them. Don't let some scumbag take them. <laughs> take care guys, speak to you soon. Bye bye.